Hey everyone, this is Snark with Snark's Domain. Today we'll be testing out two thermal putties on the hot plate to see how they perform and see if they're a viable uh, alternative to some of the other putties we've used. So let's get into it. All right, so the first putty I'm gonna talk about today is MG860. It's uh, made by MG Chemicals. It's a silicone-based thermal putty. Uh, it's got a rating of 0 0.7 watts per meter Kelvin. It has high dielectric strength. Uh, it's got a broad surface temperature range of minus 40 degrees Celsius to uh, plus 200 degrees Celsius. That's also minus 40 Fahrenheit to plus 392 Fahrenheit. So it's got excellent corrosion resistance, non-bleeding heat transfer paste, non-electrically conductive, and a long service life. Um, there are technical data sheets available from mgchemicals.com that you guys can check out. I'll post the link in the description below. The next thermal putty is called KPT8 or CPT8. I've also seen it stated online. Uh, it's also a silicone based thermal putty. Uh, it's got an operating temperature between minus 60 degrees Celsius and 180 degrees Celsius. So pretty pretty good like cold temperature performance probably out of this if you were looking for you know sub-zero stuff um, maybe that would be an option if you were going to go down that cold um, other than that it's hard to find uh, good specs on it but it is rated at 7 watt or sorry 0 0.7 watts per meter kelvin just like the mg860 so it'll be interesting to see head to head um how this one compares and uh, yeah let's get into the time lapse here and then we'll talk about them a little bit afterwards So the MG860 Thermal Putty completed the race to 100 in 7 minutes and 30 seconds and KPT8 completed it in 7 minutes and 12 seconds. Uh, out of these two putties, um, I think it's easier to get MG860, for me in Canada at least. Uh, I had to get my KPT8 on eBay, so um, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't super cheap for shipping and all that stuff. So this test kind of shows that both of these putties are faster than K5 Pro, which came close to nine minutes for the race to 100, but they're not as fast as a lot of our other putties that are hitting that mid to low five minute mark to uh, get the blocks to heat up to 100 degrees Celsius. So I don't know, maybe one of these would be a good candidate to add an additional fill or two. Uh, and I'll probably do that in testing since I do have some diamond powder. Um, I'll try and play around with that. But that's it for this video, so I'll catch you guys on the next one.